Welcome to Kate's Kitchen, where we don't cook that often, but when we do, it's pretty darn good. It is that time of year I woke up to 18 degree weather, freezing cold, and I just thought, oh, I'd love something warm, cozy, delicious that would really hit the spot. Found this recipe for crock pot chicken pot pie. Mmm. Let's start with the ingredients. We've got some Nature's Promise chicken breasts, three of them. We've got some veggies. You can, of course, cut them up yourself, but I am trying the frozen version. I've got golden white corn, carrots, and asparagus, and peas, because I love peas. I don't usually do asparagus in a frozen situation, but I want to give it a try, and I also like it when Caden tries new things. And I don't think he's really had asparagus much, so we're gonna give that a whirl. Two potatoes. It only called for one, but I feel like these are relatively small, so I'm gonna do two. A large onion, a can of cream of mushroom, a can of cream of chicken, a can of chicken broth, the classic salt and pepper, and a little seasoning. I've never had this before, but I've seen good things about it. Looks like it's good for some meat, some veggies, some chicken. You can do it all with this seasoning. Let's give it a whirl. First thing we're doing, because ain't nobody trying to clean a lot up in the kitchen, is using a crock pot liner. If you've never done this before, this is what they look like. They are amazing, and they save you a lot of cleanup at the end. Totally worth it to me. Just put it in the crock pot. Line it nicely. Goes in perfectly. Mwah. So I'm just gonna talk to you while I'm cutting. I'm actually kind of excited that I'm cutting this myself because I'm cutting it into small, this is the potato by the way, into small pieces because I don't really like it when it's big chunky pieces of anything. Same thing with a salad, right? Big chunky, ugh, anything, like chop it up. Do some work here, <laughs> which is really funny coming from me if you know anything about my cooking, which is not much because I don't do it that often. By the way, there will be no, you know, some people are like, oh, well the recipe says this, but I do this. I add a dash of this, a sprinkle of this. There will be no dashing. There will be no sprinkling. You tell me the directions and I will follow them because that is not something that comes naturally to me. And I am afraid if I do not do it, you know, I guess if I did it more often, that would become maybe more, I'd become more comfortable. But right now there will be no dashing. There will be no sprinkling. I will be following the directions. Okay, so I'm kind of seeing why <laughs> they say one potato. I already peeled two and it's looking like a lot of potato. Maybe this is too much potato, but I've already peeled it. So pretty much people, it's happening. No matter if it's too much or not. You know what? I'd rather have a little extra potato than not enough potato. You know what I'm saying? I really should not be looking at you while I'm talking and chopping at the same time, right? But I'm really excited about, I feel like I'm not making these chunky and I'm gonna enjoy some finely chopped potato more than I would a chunk of rooski. You know what I mean? I just don't really like the chunky pieces in anything. Is anybody like that? Let me know in the comments. Do you like big chunky vegetables or do you prefer a finely chopped vegetable? But it's a little bit more of a pain in the butt to, to cut it up like this. I just feel like my hard work is gonna pay off in the end. Moving on to the onion, people. Ah, uh, you know, this is kind of exciting. And I know you guys are like, eh, okay, cooking is adulting 101, I know. I'm so excited for the end result here because my dad made this turkey stew with the leftover turkey from Thanksgiving and he made me a portion so I could take it to lunch after Thanksgiving. Oh, it was so good. And as I was eating it, I'm thinking, you know what? I can do this. I can do this too. I'll show you what this looks like in a minute. Let me just continue chopping. In my life right now, I've come to realize that I am eating a little bit too much processed foods. So I'm trying to incorporate more whole foods. It's healthier and look, this is not about that necessarily, but when you eat foods that are so processed and you eat it too much, 
you're never feeling full. So you keep eating because your body's not getting the nutrients it needs to be full. Your body's like, I need this, I need that. And you just keep giving it junk food, which of course I've been guilty of in the past slash sometimes still am, but I'm trying to just incorporate more whole foods, hearty, have nutrients because that's what's gonna make you full and your body's gonna be like, okay, we're good. This is a whole onion, feels like a lot. One can of cream of mushroom, cream of chicken. I don't know guys, this is what it says to do. I'm just doing it. I told you, I'm just following the directions. Mm, that smells like chicken, because it is. A cup of chicken broth. Glad I measured that. That was way more than I thought it would be. Okay, I gotta stir this. It says to sprinkle in the seasoning and all three of those things. Ooh, stirring it up, people. Stir that all up. It smells delicious, even though I haven't really done anything yet. Pour it. This is what it looks like. I am putting it on high for four hours. Whew. I just took a little nap and I'm freezing. I'm just gonna keep warm by the crock pot. Oh, that smells. I woke up to the smell of it. My cats are actually smelling it right now too. Okay, so for the last hour, you're supposed to throw the vegetables in. So I'm gonna do that now. One more hour. It's ready. It smells so good. I'm gonna show you what it looks like in a second. All I had to do was an hour before you're ready to eat, you throw in the vegetables, you let it go for an hour. Even if they're frozen, they get cooked in. Mm. I just went live while it was cooking. If you were there, thank you so much for joining me live. We had so much fun and now, the food is ready. So all I did was I took the chicken breasts out with two forks and I shredded them up and then I put them back in. And this is what it looks like. I know, no one's ever gotten more excited about a crock pot meal than me, but that's me. So now I could either put it in a bowl and use it like a stew or you can make some warm biscuits and put it on top, or you could use these crescent rolls and kind of use it on the side. We really love crescent rolls, so that might be the route I take. Kind of like a deconstructed chicken pot pie, no crusts or anything. That delicious golden brown flaky element to be added to it. This pot of mixture is going to last so many meals. This will be my dinner tonight. It will be my lunch tomorrow. It will probably be lunch during the week until it's all gone. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, you guys. Mm. This is so good. This is just what I like. I love chicken pot pie. This was so easy, you guys. I need to do this more often. I am so excited about this. I know for most of you, this is like the most basic thing ever, but honestly, why does it have to be complicated? I'm gonna make a nice yummy bowl. Voila, crock pot, chicken pot pie. Thank you so much for watching K-Squad. If you want some more cooking in Kate's Kitchen, easy crock pot meals, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I could whip something up for you. Maybe monthly or something. If interested, let me know in the comments. Also, please let me know what is your favorite crock pot recipe to make. I'm going to leave the recipe I made today in the description below. Bye everyone. See you in the next video. Hey, Buns. I love you.